Welcome to the class of mathematics. Hello, I'm Atar Raman from Maths for You by Atar Raman. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve these three simultaneous equations. Now, to do this, we're going to use matrices and a process of Gaussian elimination method and Gaussian Jordan method. Now, the first thing we need to do is to set up what we call an augmented matrix. So we have some brackets like this, and we take the coefficients of each of these terms and place them into the matrix. So for this, in first equation here we have a coefficient of 2, 2 and negative 1, but on the right hand side here we have 4. The second row here we have 1, negative 2, 1, and 2. Here now for the third one, we have 1, 1, 0, and 0. Now to find the solution for these three equations, what I want to have is what we call the echelon form on the left hand side. Here now the echelon form of matrix looks like this. A, B, C, 0, D, and 0, 0, F. Next what we need to do here is we need to come up with a series of row operations in order to get row echelon form so that these three positions would become 0. Now to do so, first we will interchange row 1 with row 2. Now I need 0 at this position. For that, I would have to subtract twice row 1 from row 2. We can get the desired result. Now I will take row 2 row 3 to make these two places 0. So I will subtract row 1 from row 3 to get a new row. 0, 3, negative 1 and negative 2. Next is to multiply row 3 by negative 2 to get this new row 3. Now I have almost done. Let us go ahead and adding these two rows to get 0 here. After this final operation, I will obtain the echelon form on the left hand side of the augmented matrix. The equivalent system is written by using the echelon form as x negative 2 time y plus z is equal to 2, 6 time y negative 3 times z is equal to 0, and negative times z is equal to 4. Now by using the method of back substitution, that is why we'll use equation 6 to get the value of z. Hence, that is equal to negative 4. Now I'll use this value of add in equation 5 to get the value of y. That is, 6y minus 3 times negative 4 is equal to 0, which implies y is equal to negative 12 upon 6. Now let us simplify this. That is 6 once are 6 and 6 twos are 12. Thus y is equal to negative 2. Now finally substituting the value of y and z in equation 4 to get the value of x that is x minus 2 times negative 2 plus negative 4 is equal to 2. Solving this we get x is equal to 2. Thus the solution of the given system of linear equations is. Next, we want to proceed to solve the same system of linear equations by Gauss-Jordan method. In this method, we will be reduced to the matrix on the left-hand side of the augmented matrix to the row reduced echelon form. That is, we will transfer the matrix on the left-hand side of this augmented matrix to a matrix where the pivot element of each row must be 1 and all the elements of that column, which contain the pivot element, must be 0. In the case of a square matrix, it always turns to an identity matrix. Now what we want to do here. Here again, we need to come up with a series of row operations in order to get row reduced echelon form, so that these positions would become 0, and the pivot elements of each row would be 1. We would first add row 1 with row 3 to get this new row, and row 3 will remain unchanged. And then we'll divide row 2 by 3 to get this new row 2. Now, next we will multiply row 3 by minus 1 to obtain a new matrix, having the first two rows the same as the previous matrix, but a different row 3. Now if we sum up row 3 with row 2, we can easily get 0 here, which is one of our requirement. So by adding row 3 with row 2, we get this matrix. The second last step is to add row 2 with row 1 to get 0 here. So let's do it. We get a new matrix. With this new first row, 1, 0, 0. Aimed. 2. Now we have almost done it. Just a final step is to label this A2 2 with 1 which is quite simple just. We need to divide row 2 by 2 to get the desired result. After performing this last operation, we get an identity matrix on the left of the augmented matrix. Now this method of Gauss and Jordan provide an easy and quick approach to the unknown values of X, Y, and Z. 
Thus the equivalent system in the reduced row echelon is given by. Thus the solution set is given by. We have seen that in both Gaussian elimination and Gauss and Jordan methods, the solution is the same. But in the latter method, one can comparatively quickly approach the unknowns while in the formal methods it needs little bit labor. Now, it's the time to subscribe my channel. Like it. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can't miss a new video. Also share it. And if you have any query you can mention in the comment box. You can also contact us through the following. Thanks for watching.